Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Tony, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the top 11 iOS 11 tweaks to install on your iPhone 10 if you're jailbroken with Electra. So this video is going to serve two purposes. I'm first going to show you how to install tweaks easily onto your device, and then secondly, we're going to take a look at the top 11 jailbreak tweaks I currently have installed. Now, if you have yet to jailbreak your device and you're running iOS 11 to 11.1.2, Go ahead and check out one of my latest videos on how to install the Electra Jailbreak Utility and then come back and watch this video. This jailbreak is, however, for all 64-bit devices running iOS 11 to 11.1.2, including the iPhone X. Also, as a quick update from said jailbreak video, since then, Electra Beta 6 has been released by Coolstar, so if you are using Beta 5, I would definitely suggest to delete that, go back to the Electra site, and download the new beta. So, in my last video about installing themes, I showed you how to connect via SSH into your jailbroken devices, but as a quick refresher, to do this, you will need a few things. One, you will need a computer running macOS or Windows. With Mac, you will need a way to unzip .deb files, and for that, I'm using the program called the Unarchiver. On Windows, you will need WinRAR and 7-zip. Also, you will need an SSH client on your computer, and for Mac, I'm using Cyberduck. And in Windows, you can actually use one that is built into Windows 10. Secondly, for some tweaks, you may need an older jailbroken device running an iteration of iOS 9 or 10, or just one that has access and supports Cydia and Mobile Substrate. If you don't have access to a jailbroken device, you can actually download and install some free tweaks on a site that I found, but this site does not contain everything that is out there on Cydia. And lastly, you will obviously need a device jailbroken on iOS 11 to install the downloaded tweaks onto. So, this process is pretty lengthy and complicated, but if you follow the instructions on this video, you should be able to successfully download and install tweaks onto your jailbroken device. That being said, this can be a risky process if done incorrectly, and it can crash your device if you add or delete something on accident. So with all that being said, do this at your own risk. So a quick outline of what this is going to look like. For most packages, we're going to download them and install them from a site called Cydia Updates. This site lists all the updates to Cydia packages on some of the main Cydia repos, and it lets you download the tweak deb install file if the tweak is free and not paid. The site has no way of purchasing paid tweaks, and for the moment, getting paid tweaks to work on an iOS 11 device is hit and miss, and for the majority of the time, the licenses just don't successfully transfer over and activate on the iOS 11 device, as Cydia and Mobile Substrate have yet to be updated for iOS 11. That being said, there are some free tweaks out there that I'm featuring in this video that are not found on this site, and to get those tweaks install files, you will have to manually SSH into an older jailbroken device, download the package in Cydia, and copy the package to your computer via CyberDuck. Anyway, once we have our install files, then we're going to extract and unzip the packages and get them ready to install on our jailbroken iOS 11 device. And then we're going to SSH to our iOS 11 jailbroken device, manually install the package, and then just do a quick respring. And then once all that is done, all your tweaks should automatically be applied and running in most cases. So first off, before you install anything, you're going to want to see if it's compatible with iOS 11 and with the iPhone 10. And a good resource I found on Reddit is this compatibility list. It lists a good 200 packages that people have tried out on iOS 11, and even in some cases, it shows if it supports the iPhone 10 or not. This list is being updated daily, so keep checking back to see if some of your favorite tweaks are supported or not. But as of right now, not many tweaks run on iOS 11, as many developers have yet to update their tweaks for the new OS or for the iPhone X's new screen size. With that being said, definitely check out this page before you install something to see if it will even work. Alright, so without further ado, let's install some tweaks. So for the install example, I'm going to show you how to install dark messages and cylinder, as cylinder is one of the few tweaks that has an extra step needed in the install process. So to start off, let's start with dark messages. Now we're going to head over to the Cydia update site. The link is in the description. We're going to search for dark messages and then click on the highlighted blue hyperlink under the version history to start the download. Then go ahead and drag that file onto the desktop and unzip this file. And just like with themes, the only file within that we care about is the data.tar, 
.izma file. We're going to unzip that one as well and head into the data folder and then once more into the library folder. And then here we have three folders, preference bundles, preference loader, and mobile substrate. And these are the three that we really care about. So now that that's all done, we're all ready to install this to our iOS 11 device. We're going to go ahead and open up Cyberduck to SSH into our jailbroken iPhone 10 running iOS 11. And to do this, make sure both your iPhone and the computer you're using are on the same Wi-Fi network. But once Cyberduck is open, we're going to click New Connection, navigate to SFTP, System File Transfer Protocol. In the server address, we're going to enter the iPhone's IP address, which again can be found in the Settings app under Wi-Fi, and then by clicking on the Wi-Fi network you're connected to. We're going to use port 22, and the username is root, and the password is alpine. Again, if you use your phone out in public, I would highly suggest changing this password as these are just the default settings. Anyway, from here, we're going to navigate to the root of the file system, then to Bootstrap, and then to Library. And just like with the themes, this is the area that we're going to install the tweaks to as well, just in different folders. So in Cyberduck, I went ahead and bookmarked this, so it automatically connects and takes me directly to this directory. So to install dark messages or any tweaks, you're most likely going to have these three folders, at the very least, you're going to just have the mobile substrate folder. But anyway, to install tweaks, you're going to essentially take these three folders on the desktop and put them into three of the folders on your iPhone 10. Now, specifically, you're going to take everything from the preference bundles folder and drag it to the preference bundles folder on your iPhone 10. That one's pretty easy. The next one up is the preference loader. You're going to navigate into that folder on your desktop into preferences, and you're looking for this .plist file. You're going to tab down on the SSH client into preferences and drag the plist file into the preferences folder. And then very lastly, within the mobile substrate folder on your desktop, you're going to navigate into there, into dynamic libraries, and then all the contents of this, you're going to drag into SB inject. And now that all those files are in place, the tweak is successfully installed. We just have to restart the springboard for it to load. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal window. And within that terminal window, you're just going to enter your password, which is again Alpine, all in lower caps. And then we're going to type kill all, all in lower caps negative nine and then springboard and the S and B and springboard are capitalized. And once that is entered, then you just press enter and it will run the command and your iPhone will respring. And once it is back online, you will notice now when you enter the messages app that the dark messages tweak will be applied. And now if you want to, you can enter the settings app on your iPhone, navigate to dark messages, and then further customize some of your preferences within that tweak. Anyway, that is a quick look at dark messages on the iPhone 10. Next up, like I said, I was going to show you how to install Cylinder. So once you have Cylinder completely extracted and you're to this point where you have the preference bundles, mobile substrate, and preference loader folders in front of you, you'll notice there is actually a fourth one called Cylinder. The other three go in the same exact place as the dark messages one in that example that I just showed you, but the Cylinder folder actually goes into the root of the file system and then to the folder called library. And once that is in place there, Cylinder should work perfectly fine on your iPhone 10 or any iOS device running iOS 11 that is jailbroken. All right, so that is a quick look at how to install tweaks on the Electra jailbreak by SSHing into your device to install the tweaks. Again, if you can't find a tweak on the website that you want to install, you may have to use an older jailbroken device. If you need help opening an SSH connection to your older jailbroken device, check out my last video of how to install themes as I went into that process in a little bit more depth. But just one update I wanted to give you is again, just like I set a bookmark for the iPhone 10 install tweaks location, I set a bookmark for the Cydia temporary cache and downloads location. Again, this is where the .deb install file will temporarily be stored on your device and that's where you can SSH into it and go grab it. And just for reference, the location is again in the root of the file system under private, then navigating to var, mobile, library, caches, com.sorg.cydia, and then to archives. And within that folder will be the .deb install files. Again, that's a really long folder. That's kind of why I bookmarked it. So it will automatically connect to this folder just by right clicking on my mouse and then selecting connect to server, I'll be taken directly to that directory. So if you have to pull multiple tweaks from your older device, this makes it a quick and easy process to do that. Anyway, that is how to install tweaks. 
Like I said, for the second purpose of this video, I'm going to show you the top 11 iOS 11 tweaks for the iPhone 10. These are the current 11 tweaks that I use most often on my iPhone 10 currently with the Electra jailbreak. So for the rest of this video, I'm just going to stop talking and just show off these tweaks as most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Lastly, I will have a link to the Cydia Updates website as well as a link to where I found some of these exclusive iPhone 10 only tweaks. I found some of these through various links on Reddit as well as a couple that are featured on a developer's Patreon account. Anyway, for more information, check out the description of this video. So without further ado, here are the top 11 iOS 11 tweaks for the iPhone 10.